Do you give your socks any thought? Well, you should. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Fit Man Style channel. My name is Ian. In today's video, we will be reviewing a brand called Boardroom Socks. Uh, they sent me a care package of some socks for me to review some over-the-calf socks, some no-show socks, one of which I am wearing right now, and I've been wearing for the last three days. I don't know if that's sanitary, but I was doing it for research purposes, that of which I will be explaining in this video. But first, let me show you what they sent me. Let's start first with no-show socks. It's a summertime, it's a great pair of socks to wear during this time of the year. Goes great with casual outfits, uh, boat shoes, sneakers, but also goes great with dress shoes like loafers and double monks, especially when you're wearing shorts. But even if you're wearing pants and you don't wanna wear the mid-calf or over-the-calf socks, no-show socks is a great option. But I've had two main beefs with no-show socks in the past, and I'm gonna show you with some examples here. This sock, and I'm not gonna mention the brand, there's no point, they've since discontinued making no-show socks for good reason. Uh, I've worn these once, maybe twice, and this is how it looks. Whatever fabric they use, whatever elastic fabric or, um, um, spandex fabric they used to create the opening of this it never went back to its original state so what what that led to was anytime I wore this sock the heel would slip off and if, if you've ever worn a slipped off heel of a no-show sock inside of your shoe it's very very annoying and that seems to be the number one complaint a lot of guys have with no-show socks is that the heel keeps slipping off. Even with the silicone grip on the back of, 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 of the sock, it this this opening just lost its shape and it, it didn't um, grip your foot, my foot. And that's very, very annoying. That's my first beef and my main beef. Second beef that I have with no-show socks, and I'm gonna use this as an example, is the thickness of it. Like some of these no-show socks feel like regular socks that have been cut off. Um, that's cool, but if I wanna wear this with some dress shoes, it's like wearing regular socks with dress shoes. And if you've ever tried that, it's, it's just uncomfortable. So what I do like about the boardroom no-show sock is that it, it it ticks the boxes of those two. One, like I said, I've been wearing this for three days and for three days straight, it stayed on my foot. So on the third day, it stayed on my foot all day and it had a good grip on it as well as it had done on the first day. So you can imagine with three days, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it, take it off. It never lost its shape. And if you take a closer look at the design of the sock, the way they stitched it, it reinforces this elastic or spandex that they used right here. And of course, it doesn't hurt to have the silicone grip on the back, which reinforces the no-show sock to stay on your foot. And also, it is very lightweight. I've worn this with my double monks, and it feels like wearing dress dress socks with my double monk so i uh, appreciate the fact that uh boardroom socks really checked off the boxes of those two pet peeves that i have with with, with no-show socks and um, i'm very impressed with these no-show socks that they have over the calf socks now this is one that i did not have a bad experience with in the past the ones that i currently have 
have been good to me. I've worn them multiple times, I've washed them multiple times, and they've held their shape, which I am super thankful for. So that kind of set my expectations on what to expect from uh, over the calf uh, socks. Only thing missing in my collection were colors. I have a brown one, I have a navy blue and brown shadow stripe one, I have a burgundy one. I was missing, in one in particular, black. Um, and I'm thankful that Boardroom Socks sent me not only a black one that I, I was so fixated on that I didn't have, but also a navy one. So the black and navy come in Pima cotton, and they also sent me another black one in merino wool. Now, Pima cotton, super lightweight, has a buttery soft feel to it. It's great to wear this time of the year if you have to dress up and wear some dress socks with that. And of course, the merino wool one is a tad bit thicker, so it's best to wear that during the fall and winter time. Now, here's the thing with over-the-calf socks. Now, you don't necessarily have to be a fit guy, but I've seen guys in general who have sizable calves. When you wear regular dress socks, we tend to be mid-calf dress socks. Because the, 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 the sock is over the circumference of your calf, after a while, it stretches that opening a little bit too much and it, and it tends to droop down, which can be very annoying. The thing with over-the-calf socks that I always recommend to guys who have, you know, big calves, if you're a fit guy and you have large calves, or you've just, a, you know, regular guy that just happens to have some big calves, not only will the over-the-calf sock literally cover your entire calf, but the opening, it will grip a very narrow part underneath your knee, like the back end of your knee, like the back and the front end of your knee. So what that does, it, it not only secures it and doesn't allow it to, to droop down, but it literally will help it, help it stay up all day. And that's what happened with these socks that I had on. The Pima Cotton one, I wore the black one to work and it stayed up all day. And I was very impressed by that. It was very soft. It felt very good on my feet and on my calf as, as well. Um, there was never a point where I felt like it was, you know, itchy or I had to uh, digest it. It felt very comfortable. Uh, it, ha is, it has a reinforced heel and toe, which also contributes to how the sock fits on you. And I can say, yeah, you know, I definitely love these Pima cotton ones that they sent me. And um, I also tried the, the, the merino wool one that also fits me well. So the expectations that were already set from my past over the calf socks, I can definitely say that uh, the boardroom sock one, it met those ex expectations and I'm very pleased with that. So one thing I wanted to find out about these boardroom socks with both the no-show and the over-the-calf style was how well they would hold up, retain their shape, and still fit me after multiple wears. Like, would it still fit me well on day 20 as it did on day one? I've had these socks now for about a couple weeks and I've had multiple wears for both styles. And I can say so far, they do retain their shape and they still fit me well. Now, I haven't washed them but I have a feeling that they will still retain their shape after washing them. Um, but based on my experience, speaking of washing them, what you when it comes to washing these type of socks, you turn them inside out. I have washed them by hand before, but you can cold wash them. But the key thing is to let it air dry. That will allow it to retain its shape. So I have a feeling this is gonna there's gonna be a follow-up video to so this video a couple months from now to let you guys know how well the socks hold up after multiple wears and multiple washes as well. So definitely check out Boardroom Socks. Go on their website, see the different styles that they have, the different patterns that they have, price-wise. For the no-show socks, you're looking at about $28 for a pack of two. If you're interested in the mid-calf one, it's about $15. Bucks. And the over-the-calf one, it's about $16, which is very impressive because I've seen a lot of over-the-calf socks that are upwards of $50, $50 plus. So to, to see uh, a very 
well-made quality over the calf sock that is affordable is always a great thing. And the cherry on top is that they are made right here in America, in North Carolina. So to, which, which you know, it's kind of shocking to, to, to know that because typically, typically a lot of homegrown products tend to be pricey. So to have a product that's manufactured here in America, it's well made and it's fairly priced. I mean, can't really beat that. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. I'm going to put links down below to the different styles that they sent me. So definitely check out Boardroom Socks. And a big shout out to Nathan for sending these socks over. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if you've heard of them, if you've tried them before. I would love to hear your thoughts. See you guys next week. Same time, same place. And as always, stay fly, stay fit.